Ever heard the one about the guy who wore a chicken hat to a job interview? He walked in, feathers bobbing with every step, and when asked why he chose such an unconventional headpiece, he simply replied, Well, I heard you're looking for someone who can really rule the roost. Now I know what you're thinking, hats. Really, but bear with me folks. Picture this, a world where hats are not just hats, but symbols of our personality, our mood, our deepest desires. A world where the bigger the hat, the bigger the... Well, you get the idea. Like the tale of the woman who wore a sombrero to her wedding. When asked why, she replied, I wanted something old, something new, something borrowed and something that would provide shade for two. Talk about practicality and romance rolled into one. Then there was the man who wore a hat shaped like a giant cheeseburger to a vegan convention. Now that takes some real cheddar. I mean courage. When confronted, he shrugs and says, I'm just here to meet. I mean, meet people. And who could forget the time a group of students showed up to their final exam wearing wizard hats? When questioned, they said, we're trying to conjure up some good grades. Now that's what I call thinking outside the box, or should I say the sorting hat. Even in the animal kingdom, funny hats make their mark. Picture a pigeon strutting around with a tiny top hat, looking like the bird version of Fred Astaire, or a dog wearing a cap that looks like a fishbowl. It's a dog-eat-fish world out there, isn't it? But what does all this tomfoolery with headgear tell us? Maybe it's that life doesn't always have to be so serious. That sometimes, wearing a funny hat is more than just a fashion statement. It's a declaration of our individuality, our humor, our defiance against the mundane. So next time you find yourself in a predicament, remember the guy with the chicken hat, the woman with the sombrero, the cheeseburger enthusiast, the wizard students, and our animal friends. And ask yourself, what would my funny hat be? Funny hat. In a world that can sometimes seem all too grim, perhaps the real meaning of life is to find your hat. Your really ridiculously funny hat and wear it with pride. Because at the end of the day, it's not about fitting in, it's about standing out. And if you can do that while giving someone a good laugh, well then, hats off to you.